we have uh, two more uh, collection types to look at and this uh, this next one is called a binary heap and it's uh, it's not uh, people don't talk about binary heaps very much but they can be uh, useful sometimes as a uh, like a work queue which is like uh, which tasks are which task is most important and that is because a binary heap puts the uh, it's out of order except for the first item which is uh, always the largest so if uh, I'll show you how that looks. Uh, standard collections, binary heap. So let's just make a, a quick heap. We will make it mutable. Of course, we need to push things into it. So binary heap, new. And then we are going to push some stuff into it. So let's, uh, let's push a whole bunch of numbers in. Well, five numbers. So we'll push in the number 100. Then we'll push in the number 1,000, 10,000. Uh, we'll give it a minus five, a minus 500, and let's give it a 57. And then we are going to do use a while let statement to. Uh, we're going to use this uh, pop method to uh, to pop it off. So uh, one item at a time. So uh, let's see. Well, let sum. So as long as it's giving us sum. Uh, from this uh, from my heap dot pop then we are going to print the number um, and then it will stop once it starts giving us a none uh, so we will print the number out and we can see how the order works and so you can see it starts with uh, 10,000 which is the largest number then it goes to 100, then, uh, you know, it goes down to the last number, even though, uh, the smallest number, even though we, uh, we pushed it in, in, uh, no particular order. And I have an another example where you can see, uh, how only part of it is, uh, is ordered and the rest of it is random. And, uh, let's say we have a, uh, a function, we'll call it, uh, show remainder. And we are going to give it a reference to the binary heap. And this will be a binary heap of i32. So it needs to know the type this time. And so every time this function is going to uh, give us back a, a vec that shows uh, the remainder. And uh, you can see that it'll be in uh, a different order every time. So we will say, let's see, we'll put together this, uh, this thing called remainder vec. And for a number in input, we are just going to push it in. Remainder back dot push, and we're going to push the uh, the number in there. This is giving us a uh, a reference, so we'll push in the uh, the number itself, and then we are going to uh, return the remainder back. So this will show us every time what's remaining in our binary heap. And then we're going to say let many numbers. I'm going to uh, copy and paste this one. And the important thing about these numbers is they're in order, right? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. But when you put them into the heap, they will not be in order anymore. So let mute my heap equals uh, binary heap. New. And then uh, for a number in many numbers, we are going to push these in and they will be in order, but once they go inside, they will not be in the same order. My heap dot push number. And then now we are going to uh, start popping them off with the same thing. We will have a uh, sum number equals uh, my heap dot pop. So if we get a sum, then uh, it will give us the number and we will call it number here and we can start working with it and then we will say popped off something and then uh, the remaining numbers are and this is where we will use our our show remainder function and it will be show remainder I'm going to move this down here so we can see it that's better show remainder and that will be 
a reference to binary heap. So this will be reference to my heap. So it can just uh, just read it. And I think that'll work. And there you go. So we start out with the uh, with these numbers in order. And the largest one is 30. So when we use pop, it is going to uh, pop it off. So there, 30 is gone. And now the remaining ones are 25. See this one, this one is ready to go. So it's only going to order, you know, put the largest one in the front every time. And these ones are not in order. So 15, 20, 0, 10, 5. And so that's not in order. It might be in order, but it might not. And so you can see every time 25 is the largest, so it's there, 20, 15. So that is the way a binary heap works. And so, like I said, it's good for a, uh, a work queue if you want to, like, uh, if you have some, uh, some things that need to be done and you, uh, you only, you, you want this to be automatically, you know, the most important one to be uh, the one that gets popped off first, then, uh, then a binary, uh, binary heap is uh, a really convenient way to do that.